If you are indeed happy about the beautiful results of women, let's put our hands together. Thank you very much. Please, Mr. Chair, thank you. Uh, the Chief Economic Advisor to the Governor and Commissioner-designate, Mr. Dapo Okubadejo. The Special Advisor on Budget and Planning, also a Commissioner-designate, Mr. Olaolu Olabinton. The Special Advisor on Education and Commissioner-designate, Professor Abayomi Arigbagu. All other government appointees who are here. The Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, and also Head of the Local Organizing Committee for this uh, event, Dr. Olu Ola Aikulola. All other Permanent Secretaries who are here present, uh, especially the Permanent Secretary representing the Head of Service. The Team Lead for the GIZ Sky Project, Dr. Betlef Bath. The President of Ogunsima, Engineer Mike Akingbadi. The first Vice President of Ogunsima, Mr. Ni Oshiemi. The Chairman of Nigerian Association of Small Scale Industrialists, Mr. Karede Okwesomi. The President of Ogun State Cooperative Federation, Alaji Wasiu Olaleye. The President of the Organized Private Sector Network, Dr. Femi Egbeshola. The Head of the Artisans Association. The Director of the Employ Director of Employment and Wages from the Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment, who is also a keynote speaker, Dr. John Inyamali. Um, all other uh, members of the organized private sector who are here, um, the numerous people who have joined us virtually. I recognize members of the local organizing committee, all other directors and uh, members of Ogun State Government who are here. Distinguished guests, uh, award-winning Ogun State Cultural Troop, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here today to represent His Excellency Prince Dapo Abiodun C.O.N., who is unavoidably absent. Here are his remarks. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the Ogun State Employment Conference 2023 organized by the Ogun State Government and GIZ Sky. I want to commend the local organizing committee led by Dr. Olu Ola Aikulola and everyone who has worked hard to put this event together. Today, we gather here to address one of the most pressing challenges facing our state and our nation, unemployment. With a median age of 18 years, Nigerian youths account for about 40% of Nigeria's population. While unemployment affects all age groups, youth unemployment is a crisis which must be addressed as a matter of urgency. I therefore thank GIZ for partnering with Ogun State to discuss how we can tap into both local and global opportunities to create more employment and provide better livelihoods for our people. Unemployment is not just a statistic. It is a harsh reality that affects the lives of our youth and their families. It is a challenge that we must tackle head on if we want to build a prosperous and sustainable future for our state and our country. This is why this conference is so vital and of utmost importance. We have gathered here experts, entrepreneurs and policy makers from both within and outside our state and our country to share their experiences, insights, and strategies for job creation. We will learn from their successes and failures, and will identify the best practices that can be applied in our unique context. This conference, which is a follow-up of the National Employment Conference, will address issues peculiar to Ogun State, the gateway state, the nation's industrial capital, with its high youth population and its high migrant population. It will also serve as an advocacy to critical stakeholders and also address the critical issue of the skills gaps that are, uh, exist between employers and prospective employees. Open State is blessed with a strategic location and abundant natural resources that can be leveraged to attract both local and global investment. 
We have a vibrant agricultural sector, a thriving manufacturing sector, and rich cultural heritage that can be harnessed to create jobs and stimulate economic growth. By tapping into these opportunities, we can create a conducive environment for businesses to thrive and to create employment opportunities for our people. In addition to our local resources, we must also embrace globalization and take advantage of the opportunities it presents. The world is more interconnected than ever before, and we must position ourselves to tap into the global value chain. We must encourage innovation, entrepreneurship, and technological advancements that can create new industries and job opportunities for our youth. However, we cannot do this alone. We need the support and collaboration of all stakeholders, the private sector, civil society organizations, development partners, and our educational institutions. Together, we can create an ecosystem that fosters entrepreneurship, enhances skill development, and promotes job creation. To achieve our goals, we must address the skills gap that exists in our workforce. We need to ensure that our education and training institutions are equipping our youths with the skills and knowledge needed to secure gainful employment. We must also create an enabling environment that encourages small and medium-sized enterprises to thrive as they are the backbone of our economy and the largest employers of labor. The choice of the theme for this employment conference, addressing employment and job creation in Ogun State, tapping into the global and local opportunities, is not only apt but instructive, considering our resolve in making youth employment one of the cardinal points of our Ishaya mantra as encapsulated in the Building Our Future Together agenda of this government. There is an obvious nexus between economic development illiteracy, unemployment, and insecurity. And with this perspective, our administration has since 2019 launched a lot of initiatives to stimulate the local economy and empower our teeming youths. Some of the notable achievements we have recorded in the area of employment and job creation include the establishment of the Ogun State Bureau of Job Creation and the subsequent launching of the Ogun Jobs Portal an initiative which has been taking a lot of our people out of unemployment, while at the same time targeting better career chances for employed people and business owners. The portal was designed to prepare the residents of Ogun State to fit into appropriate sectors while currently revitalizing all sectors of our economy. We have improved on our ease of doing business by leveraging on the World Bank Ogun State Economic Transformation Project, OGSTEP, facility towards the financing of the project through the strengthening of our agricultural value chains, developing skills, and fortifying the business environment. The establishment of the Ogun State Enterprise Development Agency under the supervision of the Ministry of Industry, Trade, and Investment to provide, a, to provide clear court support services for medium and small scale um, enterprises to thrive in the state, an avenue for all these MSME operators towards forming common front and charting a good course for the development of their enterprises. The establishment of the Ogun State Investment Promotion and Facilitation Agency with a mandate to attract investors into the state coordinate the private sector investment, and streamlining processes and procedures to ease the investor's journey to setting up their operations successfully in Ogun State. We have uh, had capacity building for over 4,500 entrepreneurs across the state to enable them access financing and scaling up opportunities for their businesses. The creation of Ogun State Tech Hub along Kobakwe Road has created an enabling environment for kids and uh, young technocrats to network, socialize, and brainstorm under the State Bureau of Information and Communication Technology. The Bureau also operates a data center hosting many beneficial servers used by uh, MDAs. 
We have created uh, the Ogun State Land Administration and Revenue Management System, OLAMS, which has eased land acquisition for investors in the state. Just last week, um, at the 2023 Teachers Day, our administration approved the immediate employment of 1,000 teachers currently serving in the Ogun State Teach Scheme permanently into the Ogun State Teaching Service to um, demonstrate our commitment to reducing unemployment in the state and also reducing the deficit of teachers in both our primary and secondary schools. We have also approved the engagement of additional 2,000 interns into the uh, Ogun Teach program. Ladies and gentlemen, Ogun State has its own airport. We have an um, aerotropolis created around our new airport in the Iperu elision axis of the state. This aerotropolis has within it a special agro-processing zone. It will have a dry port and logistics hub, the airport itself, industrial estates, and a quality assurance uh, center. All of these, when complete, would also um, it was prospective employment for about 30,000 people in the state. In, it, in addition to this, we are supporting our civet sector to provide uh, needed skilled manpower to meet uh, the additional demand um, for technical skills by all these uh, industries that are coming into the state. And as you heard earlier, we have set up the Open Skills Fund to train about 10,000 youths to make them employable in all these um, new investments. All these and many others are the various programs and interventions that our administration has put in place to combat the scourge of unemployment in the gateway state. And many more of this type of uh, conference will be organized to address this issue and continue to create opportunities to push down unemployment in open state. Based on this, I want to use this medium to implore the good people of Ogun State, especially the youth, to take advantage of these various initiatives and programs for their um, skills acquisition and to shun all forms of social vices, cultism, and violence. In conclusion, I want to assure you that our administration remains committed to the restructuring and repositioning of the state to sustain its prime status as the commercial and industrial hub of the nation. I'm confident that by leveraging both local and global opportunities, we can address the challenge of unemployment in our state. This conference is just the beginning of a journey towards a more prosperous and inclusive urban state. I urge you all to actively participate in the discussions, share your insights, and work together to chart a path towards sustainable job creation. On this note, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to formally declare open this 2023 Ogun State Employment Conference. I wish you very fruitful deliberations and look forward to actionable policy recommendations. I thank you all for listening and God bless. Thank you very much, ma'am. Your Excellency, please would like to ask that the students will invite uh, the Commissioner Designate, Dr. Bob, and Engineer Pigadi to have uh, a focus uh, session with you. And while we do that, we congratulate and we rejoice with the entire girl child in the world because today is the International Day for the Girl Child. Just to raise awareness, we invite the chairman, look organizing committee, to also join them as the representative of the head of service. As well. Thank you very much. We also want to say a very big thank you to the non governmental organizations that are here, the NGOs that are ably represented. Incidentally, the team lead of the NGO is also celebrating its birthday today. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, congratulations. Also, Tola, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Right after this photo session, we just have a very short tea break and we can reconvene for the main session for the day. Thank you very much.
Thank you.